Hello, minha lava. Welcome to Love Me and Mar 5 Minute Grammar. My name's Harriet. Dema name Harriet ba. Today, let's learn how to make sentences using whenever in Myanmar to convey that meaning of every time that something happens, there's a predictable consequence. An example would be a sentence like Whenever I need advice, I always ask my dad. The always part is implied in this type of sentence, right? So we can leave the word always out and it doesn't really change the meaning. So we could also say, whenever I need advice, I ask my dad. Right, so to say whenever I, or you, or he, or she, does something in Myanmar, we put the something first, followed by de akadai. Let's check out an example. Imagine we want to say, whenever I eat. Do you remember what the verb to eat is in Myanmar? Yep, of course, that's right, sare. Sare, to eat. Now, for the purposes of the grammar construction we're learning today, we'll need to remove any particle after the verb, so in this case, de, or bu, if it were negative. And instead, we put so actually, maybe an easier way to think of it is we just take the base verb, in this case, sa, and stick it to the front of de akadai. Like we can see here, whenever I eat, sa de akadai. And if we want to add a noun, like here we've added the noun phrase spicy food, we can easily pop that before the verb. Whenever I eat spicy food, a sa, sa de akadai. Yeah, you're right, there's no word for food there. In Myanmar, we don't need to add the word food like we would in English. We can just say, whenever I eat spicy. A sa sa de akadai. And I don't know about you, but whenever I eat spicy food, my nose runs. So shall we try that sentence out so we can see how a full sentence would look? Whenever I eat spicy food, I get a runny nose. A sa sa de akadai. Na si lare. You have a go. A sa sare akadai. Na si lare. Well done. And if we do want to add the word always, a miere, we can pop it in before the verb phrase, like we would in English. A sa sare akadai. A miere na si lare. All right, great. So let's give this construction a workout in three more examples. Are you ready? Number one, whenever I drink alcohol, my face goes red. If you're Asian, you might relate. To drink alcohol is a yet taute. Mietna is face, and nilare is to go red. I've popped a ma at the start there as an optional pronoun for a female speaker. But as I'm sure you know, pronouns aren't used half as much in Myanmar as they are in English, only really when they're necessary to clarify meaning. So, can you work out what the whole sentence might look like? Okay, here we go. Jama a yet taute akadai, miena ni lare. Fantastic! Right, number two. Whenever I feel sad, I want to eat potato chips and ice cream. I don't think you have to be Asian to relate to that. To be sad in Myanmar is wanere. Potato chips, alujo. Literally, fried potato. Ice cream, ye gay mo. Okay, so why not pause the video, give yourself a minute, and see if you can work out how to put the pieces together. Got it? Jama one nere akare, alu jone ye gay mo sajene. You got it. Number three. Whenever I don't want to cook, or don't feel like cooking, I always eat instant noodles. To not want to cook. Tame machechembu. Literally, to not want to cook rice. And instant noodles is kausve chowto. Literally, noodles, dried, packet. So remember, the pause button is your friend. Give yourself as much time as you like to work out the sentence. Have you got it? Or have you got something like Jama machechen de akarai, kausve chowto amiran sare. Cool, well done for giving it a go. And if you're up for a quick bonus round, can you work out the English translations of these two Myanmar sentences? Number one, 
Lejin can lo de karai, gong gai lare. If you're more advanced, you can try without any clues. Otherwise, head to the next screen for a hint. Here we go. Did you get something like, whenever I exercise, I get a headache? Woohoo, excellent. Number two and final phrase for today. A kuni lore a karai, a pe a miedan kuni pere. Remember, you can jump ahead for a few more clues. What's the English translation? How'd you go? I got, whenever I need help, my dad always helps me. Is yours similar? Woo, good job on the me and my grandma today. I'll pop a few more example sentences in the video description for you to check out and have for your reference. If you can make and practice saying some of your own example sentences using this structure, that'll really help with retention too. Keep up your great learning. Catch you in the next video. Ta-ta!